gut-wrenching testimony on day three of the trial of the man accused of killing Aton Bates. Today on the stand, a cousin of Pedro Hernandez, who he worked at the bodega near where the boy disappeared. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider reports. Juan Santana was the cashier of the bodega at the center of this trial. He walked into court with most of his face covered and spoke through a Spanish language translator. But his statements were clear. He told jurors about defendant Pedro Hernandez, who is also his brother in law, saying, For me, he has been a good guy all his life, and stated, I never saw him talking with kids. Prosecutors want to prove that Pedro Hernandez lured six year old Eton Pates away from his bus stop into the basement of the bodega with promises of a soda and then choked and killed the little boy. But problematic for jurors might be the timing. If it comes out that Aton always went to the bus stop before 8 a.m. In the following exchange, prosecutors asked, was your brother-in-law working that day? He was there at 8. Prosecutor, is it possible he was there before 8 a.m.? Santana said, no, for me, he never came before 8 o'clock. A Pate's family friend also testified, saying Aton was in the bodega the day before his disappearance. He deserves justice. Aton deserves, his family deserves it. The trial resumes on Thursday when Pedro Hernandez's brother-in-law will be back on the stand for more questioning. In Lower Manhattan, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. The trial is expected to last three to four months. The defense plans to point to a different suspect who was found liable for Aton's death in a 2004 civil suit.